Hi, welcome to This Town Brisbane. We visit the places, attend the events and meet the people that make This Town Brisbane. I'm Campo. And I'm Bryony. Thanks for joining us. Well, Bryony, the winter, it's well upon us. There's nothing better than just snuggling up in your winter daggy clothes and hanging out in the comfort of your own home, oh. is there? That does sound very enticing, Campo, but the waistline tends not to agree with that, so it's all about finding a bit of a balance. Yeah, and to lose those unwanted kilos over the winter months, Kirsty shows us a way where, well, a lot of people say it's the most fun you can have as a couple standing up. Sounds exotic. A little bit like the West End Twilight Markets. Mem's going to go in search of a little something special at the markets. And Tara, well, she takes us on a walk with Matt Hayden and a thousand other people in the RSPCA's Million Paws Walk. But first, Kirsty's going to attend a class at River City Ballroom in West End to get a fun workout and work on those two left feet of hers. So you've all been there, right? You're out having a great night, out with a date or out with some friends, and it's about time that you hit the dance floor and show off some hot moves. But if you're anything like me with two left feet, it's probably more likely to be murder on the dance floor. Luckily, here to help us take the first steps towards better social partner dancing is River City Ballroom. So I'm here with Sue and Dane from River City Ballroom. So how did River City Ballroom come to life? I think both of us had taught dance for, for many years. Um, for myself, all my qualifications say that I'm a mathematician. Um, and I actually spent eight years in academia, lecturing mathematics and engineering. After that many years, it became a little gruelling. And I'd been teaching dance as a paid hobby for my whole adulthood. The only thing that I never grew tired of was teaching dance. It's it's wonderful, I love it. I made the tricky decision to throw the towel in with academia and move into dance full time. For myself, I basically, as a kid, did lots and lots of different sports from athletics to hockey and karate and things like that. And one day I found myself in a dance class and just loved it from day one. Um, I went into six years worth of competitive dancing after that. And when I finished school, I did a couple of jobs that didn't make me the happiest man in the world, um, but I found an ad that said, be a dance teacher, <laughs> So, and I knew from that moment that's exactly what I should do with my career. Um, so for the next 11 years I honed my skill as a dance teacher and here we are today. We worked together for many years and gradually we learnt about each other that all of our principles and our priorities and our ethics were just really well aligned and we made a great professional team. Um, and so from there the, the idea grew and we've just set up on our own. Does it take long to become a good social partner dancer? Well, if what you're wanting to do is get up on the floor in a social situation and have lots of fun and not look silly, that can only take a couple of months. <laughs> All right? A lot of our students come here with that initial goal to be able to dance socially and have a lot of fun and meet lots of people but the students who learn with us decide that they love learning so much that they learn for a lot longer um, and use it as a skill for the rest of their lives. I've been dancing with Dane and Sue for um, you know, a relatively long time. I've known them a long time and they can get anyone moving. I've seen it happen. I've seen them work miracles. Even, Even you. <laughs> so Beth, why do you do it? Oh, I love it, mainly. Um, it's great exercise. You spend 45 minutes having a giggle. You laugh when you get it right, you laugh when you get it wrong and it's fantastic. It's a great way to spend time. Do you meet lots of great people? Um, we end up with a bit of a community here and I guess you think ballroom dancing and you think sequins and feathers and it's so nice to find a studio that yeah. is just social. You don't have to be into the sequins, you don't have to be into feathers, there's no competition. <laughs> We're just all getting together and enjoying a dance. It's not just the social aspect that people come in for, um, it's also physical exercise, you know, and 
for people who aren't really interested in the sterility of a gym environment, um, who want to do something that's sociable and fun and refined, it's lovely gentle exercise, it's kind to your joints, and you get to wear beautiful clothes, so it doesn't get much better than that really. <laughs> I think it's just something to do together. Uh, yeah, spend some time together, team build, <laughs> mess with each other. It's fun. I really enjoy it. Keep made me do it. <laughs> it's pretty easy. <laughs> but I have fun doing it now, so it's a little weird. Yeah. And he's better than I am, so he keeps having a lot of fun. Nah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess you kind of have this perception that it's ballroom dancing for old people, but. We know so many young people that do it, and yeah. it's fun. So how do I get started? Do I just turn up and start dancing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Um, we start off with what's called a sampler pack, and it gives you the opportunity to taste test what it is that we do. It includes two private lessons and also a practice class. Um, the private lessons are your main teaching vehicle, so that's where you do your learning and you dance with your own teacher, so you would dance with my beautiful assistant here. Um, and that means that we can tailor your learning to suit what you want and to suit your pace. Um, and we have a practice class as well that goes along with that. Yeah, the practice classes are there designed to reinforce what you're learning in the private lessons and it gives you a great opportunity, again socially, to meet other students at a similar level as yourself and you can have lots of fun. So I guess after the sampler pack we've got a short course which is called our planner pack and exactly as the name suggests that's a short course of private lessons and over that, those lessons we collaborate with you, we identify what it is you want to learn um, and we design a tailor-made learning program to suit each individual student. Um, so then the sky's the limit. I think I at least tripled my number of dance moves there. After this, I'm calling up a girlfriend, we're hitting a dance floor, and I'm going to show this town, Brisbane, just what I've learnt. Head over to rivercityballroom.com.au or pop in and have a chat to Sue and Dane. I'm Kirsty Stiegler, formerly with two left feet, killing the dance floor for this town, Brisbane. Coming up after the break, Tara joins a million paws for a walk.